in my previous video I have shown you how to create scripted input by creating a python file and then creating an input in splunk which will basically run this python file to index the data from from by 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 calling some api okay and also it discussed one of the drawbacks of the scripted input where it was indexing the same data again and again if you see we were indexing that uh, movies from the IM, TMDB website. So if you see each and every movies is getting indexed again and again. So to fix that, we will be incorporating some kind of custom logic, which basically uh, tell Splunk that uh, if you index this data already, don't index it again. This this feature is called uh, checkpointing. Okay, so why we need checkpointing because Splunk do not support this behavior out of the box. That means when you index something and if you are indexing some new stuff, Splunk do not know whether that new stuff is already indexed or not. So to, to build that functionality, we have to we have to make uh, we have to code it on our own. Okay, so I'll do the initial setup first. I'll delete this index okay so that we can see what our code changes are taking effect also if i go to data input page and to make sure that um, my script is not running now so this is the one and i already disabled it okay now we will work on this tmdb dot tmdb underscore upcoming dot py file okay to modify it more better way so if you if you, if you see this script so previously how we have written is like we have created a uh, genetic function which will basically do the tmdb api call and then we created another function which will basically call this upcoming movie url and in the main function we are just doing the indexing part now we will do a slightly modified code so that we can incorporate the custom logic for checkpointing okay so what i will do here is i will create a program here okay so i will First, we will do we will build this whole overall structure, then we will program accordingly. So we'll build string to Splunk. Okay. So what it will take? It will take two arguments. One is a checkpoint file. Okay. Checkpoint file. And other is my data. Now my data, as I said it's only the results portion if you see here when i am i was having that demo api call so we are just interested to index only the results portion here okay so i'll say data results okay now checkpoint file if you see here i created this checkpoint i basically want to create a checkpoint file so now let me give you the background or basically the logic i wanted to incorporate here so what we will do here is we will inside this our tmdb app bin folder will create a checkpoint directory okay now this directory can be anywhere I'm creating inside my bin folder just for demo purpose okay checkpoint directory inside that i'll have a empty file called checkpoint.txt i just created this file here only so i'll just copy paste here it's an empty file now okay so the logic will be so suppose if you see this api output so each and every time we will look through these results okay and then we will see whether this id is already indexed or not 
if it is not indexed i will index it and after indexing i will give put this id to this checkpoint file so that next time when some new records are coming so that id will also be considered and if it is already indexed then i will skip that record from indexing so that logic will be implementing now okay so i have created this checkpoint file directory and also pasted this checkpoint dot txt file here so i am just getting the file i am constructing the file path where over here like this so to do that you need this os module so i will be doing os dot path dot join then splunk home that needs to be set up as well if you see here in this full path this portion is my splunk home right uh, with that i am adding etc app stmdb bin and the checkpoint and then checkpoint file direct okay so let us implement the splunk streams to splunk okay so um, define stream to splunk so this is taking two inputs right checkpoint file and a data portion of it this is my list of movies right now i look through them first because i need that id so that i can check that id in checkpoint file so for dt in data okay so i am looping through that J json here json array over, over here then i will be checking by a checkpoint function or method if that will return true or false if checkpoint okay so if this checkpointing is true okay then that means that particular data already or movie id already present in the file then i will continue i will not going to index that one else portion i will be doing the indexing part before that indexing part i'll write to i'll write to check point file okay that right i'll do and then i will do the indexing portion of here over here the similar way i was doing before json dot dumps my this dt each and every movie details okay so let us construct our these two programs here okay so first we will see how we will achieve the checkpointing here so def my checkpoint program okay so for to do the checkpoint i need the checkpoint file so checkpoint file will be an argument here right then i'll open this file with open my checkpoint file in read mode right because i'm going to read this file as file correct so i'm when checking i'm just reading that file and checking whether that id present over there or not okay so this is this is the way i am just taking this all the ids as a list okay so before i do that this is the way i am visualizing the file is like each and every id will be in separate line over here so when i will write the file i will add a new line over there as well like this okay so I'll, when i'll reading the file i will be reading in similar fashion okay so file dot read method okay and then split lines okay 
so this will give me the idealist and then what will be my return value here i have to return either true or false here so if my movie id so in that case i have to pass a movie underscore id here so if my movie id is present in this id list then only i will be returning that true or false so movie id in id list will give you a expression which will ultimately be a true or a false expression okay based on this movie id present over here or not so this move when i am calling this checkpoint i have to give this movie id as well so in that case what i will do dt is my each and every movie records just like this structure here each and every and i will pass this id stuff here okay so dt then i'll pass the id here okay let me save it okay now my checkpoint checkpointing is done so i am checking whether it is becoming true or false or not then only i am either i will continue or i will i will go ahead and index the data to splunk now we will we will complete this write to checkpoint file program so to write to checkpoint file so obviously checkpoint file will be an input to this one okay now this time i will be opening this file in append mode why you need to append mode because the id is already indexed to splunk has to be present over there as well so i cannot override that override the file so i'll be opening in append mode right and then i'll be writing this file so now what data i need to write over here again i'll be writing some movie id movie id so file dot right lines right lines okay so this movie id and then also i have as i told you over here i'll be appending a new line as well so plus my backslash in for new line okay so this is my Pro program for write to checkpointing file as well now this over here i have to pass my movie id as well so similar way i will be passing my movie id here so copy i'll be copying this one here as well and i need to remember that i need to this needs to be in string format okay so i'll convert this to as a string okay so my um, checkpointing is also done invalid syntax okay so i need a bracket here to make this okay invalid syntax unknown line so i am printing over here Okay, yeah, we need to have a bracket over here as well. I'll save it. Okay, so our our script is ready. So what we'll do now, we will first go to our Splunk. Okay, we'll see is there anything indexed? No. Now first we will bump this website so that that. Changes will be 
taking into effect generally python script does not require restarting of splunk or bumping as well but to be on safer side i am just doing it and i will be enabling this script as well okay okay now my script has been enabled and it will run in every 60 second now let's see what data it is getting indexed so first if you see here it already indexed the 20 values so if you if you see the code over here so this is the same file we have in my in our splunk etc tmdb bin folder so here uh, we are basically indexing only the first page right it has only 20 records so it already the 20 uh, movies already indexed and if you see the checkpoint file right it's already added those movie ids over here now if the script is running again and it is getting the same set of movies then it will not going to index at all if it is getting some new ids then only it will it will it will index it now let's wait for one minute and see uh, it is already indexed or not see now it may get a new one that's why only single one has been indexed now the total record became 21 if you see like this so if you see now for id uh, this 303581 has been okay uh, this is another one if you see this id ideally this should not be indexed at all but i think there is some problem happen happen over here if you see some space came up okay so i think there are some uh, logic flaw happened over there because of that it is happening but now if you see this will this will not index again that's why uh, maybe uh, because of that space this is getting indexed twice otherwise other 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 uh, movies are not getting indexed at all okay but you you got the idea like how how we can achieve any kind of uh, custom um check pointing for our for our logic and uh, and if i see it should not index at all already one minute over yeah so it is not indexing now the new 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 set of records because it is it is already indexed so this is how you can you can you can achieve a custom um a custom so this is how you can achieve the Mm, custom check pointing as well as now in next video i'll show you how you can achieve the xml streaming okay similar concept like simple streaming but xml streaming you will have more fine grain control over what data you are sending into splunk see you in next video